In this lesson, we're going to take a look at short run equilibrium, the price level, and real GDP. We have our downward sloping aggregate demand curve. We have our upward sloping short run aggregate supply curve, PLE representing price level at equilibrium, and YE representing GDP at the equilibrium point. Well, let's say that price levels increased from our equilibrium price to PL1. How is this going to impact both the short run aggregate supply curve and the aggregate demand curve? Well, if we draw our new price level, and we'll see what points of both curves will this new price level hit. Well, as it hits the demand curve, we bring this down. As price levels increase, our GDP for the demand curve is going to decrease. As price levels increase, where it hits the supply curve, our GDP for supply will increase. So what we have here is we have a surplus. We have an excess supply of goods and services. Inventories are starting to build up and to reduce inventories firms will have to cut prices and outputs, which will result in gradually moving back to our starting point, our equilibrium point. Price levels will fall and the real output will decrease. Sellers are forced to now reduce their prices, which will lower production and consumers will purchase more quantity, more output at a lower price. In this example, we're going to start at equilibrium again, but our price level is going to go down from our equilibrium price to price level one. So let's see where this new price level is going to intersect with our short run aggregate supply curve and our aggregate demand curve. As the price level intersects with our short run aggregate supply curve, our GDP for quantity supplied is going to go down. As it intersects with our aggregate demand curve, our GDP for demand is going to increase, resulting in a shortage. The excess demand of goods and services is what we see in this example. Inventories are well below the intended levels and firms will seek to eventually increase their inventory levels back to the equilibrium point. Prices will eventually rise and output will increase. The increased prices will encourage producers to increase their output, but the increased prices as we move closer to equilibrium, consumers will buy less as a result of the increase in prices.